In this video, I will be going over some of the basic features and functionality of the FRS Lite Map Box um, in its clamp-on configuration. We do offer 15 millimeter support and a, an, an adapter for RE swing away support, um, but I'm just gonna go over the basic features here today. Um, starting with the back plates for clamp-on, um, you can see our back plates have a lever system rather than the traditional thumb screw. So the lever system allows you to put the mat box on very quickly. Um, so you can see that when the lever is loose, there is still a lot of wiggle room and play here, so it's really easy to get it on the lens. Um, but once you clamp down, it's extremely secure. In fact, I can pick up the whole camera just using the mat box. And again, it comes off very quickly and easily. So not only more secure than your standard thumb screw, but also faster to use. Um, we also do have a thumb screw adjustment, which lets you adjust the tension on the lever for different sets of lenses, since the tolerances are not you know, even across all lenses out there. So our back plates are also fully reversible and attach um, using just two screws. Unlike a lot of matte boxes out there, these screws are actually um, they're actually screwing the back plate into the matte box itself. It's not just using clamp pressure to keep the back plate on, so it can't fall off if you don't quite get it on right or something. So it's more secure than the back plates that just use clamping pressure to keep them on. And as I said, fully reversible. So now the lever is on the camera assistant side rather than the operator side of the camera. So next I will go over the trays. So you can see these trays are pretty basic, um, pretty standard trays with the spring release clamp, um, but they are made of fiberglass, which means that they won't get bent out of shape over time, so they should always fit nicely back into the matte box and not, you know, not be bent up here where they're allowing light to leak in or something. Um, they snap into the center just like most trays do. Um, you can see when I uh, activate a tray, it does turn on the matte box, the filter reading system. Um, the backlight is, is an option. You can turn the backlight on and off. Um, and then if you want to slide a tray all the way through, it will. there are um, tray catches. Um, and the tray catches are different on each side. So if I open just this tray catch, I can slide the rear tray all the way through the matte box. I can obviously put it back in the other way if I want to. So you can put them in upside down. Um, and then if I open this other tray catch, I can slide the other trays through. So one tray catcher allows just the rear filter tray to slide through. The other one allows the front tray to slide through, or you can open both catchers for all three trays to um, move freely through the mat box. So next, let's take a look at the hard mat system. So you can see this hard mat is super thin um, and flexible compared to most of the hard mats that are out there on the market right now at least. Um, and it just clips in here using a few little tabs and fits very securely, easy to rip out. Um, and we do offer just the basic full set of hard mats. So our top flag is uh, also pretty basic, it just fits on using a couple of knobs to tighten it down. And it comes with a, uh, a nice preload. The preload is adjustable, um, but we ship them with just this very usable preload, so it'll just stay put wherever you put it. Um, but you can adjust the preload, and of course you can lock the flag into place if you want. But quick and easy. So there was a pretty good overview of all of the mechanical features of the matte box. Um, again, we do offer 15 millimeter support. Uh, we'll offer 19 millimeter support, RE swing away arm support. Um, we may offer side flag support, although we do not currently. And we do have a top bracket as well for a top mounting bracket that goes across here. So um, as always, if you have any questions, um, feel free to hit us up, but that should be a pretty good overview of the mechanical features of the FRS light.